Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Wing Games here, and I got you guys a Prank Age deck profile. Um, I like this deck a lot. It's super consistent. It's just a bunch of one card starters, and overall, just super fun and really uh, chill to play. Oh, let's, let's, without any ado, let's get into it. Um, I am also playing a one uh, 40 card build. Some people are playing 40, uh, 45. I'm just cutting down to 40. I want to see my prank as much as possible. So I just max out on, on the three fancies, three dropsies, three lampsies, and the three roxies. Uh, you really need all all twelve of them. Uh, don't cut the roxies to two. It will just hurt your con uh, your way to seeing the more. But overall, I think that like right now, you need to see as many as many as your one card stars as possible. That's it for the prank kid monsters. Hand traps, we're playing three perm. We're playing three ash. We're playing three Nibiru. And we're playing the two effect Baylor. Um I like this hand trap lineup a lot. Uh and perm and Nibiru kind of play against each other, but that's what you play in effect Baylor. Just in case of those sticky situations. Uh Ash is Ash. Just overall really good. And just seeing one of these is fine. That's why you're playing 11. And then for field spells, uh, prank is spells and traps, we're playing the two plays, two pandemonium, the one pranks. Uh, we're playing for fusion spells, two thunder dragon, the one polymerization, and the one instant fusion. Uh, these are pretty much the, so pretty much the Prank Kids uh, spells. Uh, instant Fusion, it's for free Rocket Ride, allows you to play through extenders. Uh, I'm playing one polymerization for now. Um, if I get to play two more or three, uh, I'll, I'll think of bumping it up just based on the situations I really want. But overall, I think that one probably is fine. Since I am playing the two Thunder Dragon Fusion, um, I do play two. I, I use one to shuffle it back. And then I use the other one for the Red Tana Conda play, which you'll see in the extra deck. Uh, pranks doesn't offer you much except recycling. But I think uh, Pranks doesn't just enough to make it at one. Uh, you play two Pandemonium, standard. And you play two Place. Uh, you play Place is fine. Uh, going first is not really that good. So you, you want to play two. Uh, we are playing three Mystic Mine. Uh, mine is mine. Uh, like there's just so many combos you can do with this deck, this card, and uh, I really liked it. Oh, uh, we're playing the one callback grave, the one terraforming, and the one set rotation. You are playing two spiel spells, so you're allowed to play set rotation. And uh, so practically you have four pit, four plays, playing five mine, and callback grave. Just make sure that you can't get uh. Hand trapped, except with the Bureau or Imperm. Uh, we're playing the two plan. Uh, people cut this down to one. I think that playing two is necessary. You always end up missing the second one to link to link, and then if you try to get rid of it, you'll send it to the graveyard and use this effect to shuffle everything back. And that's why I prefer to send this for dropsies, just in case those second situations, because they'll always try to like normal and then battle phase. So. To get over your your blue guy or the last prank is that you have on field that way you don't get to battle butler but that's where they force your hand kind of so that's why so that's why you play two and then off for the extra deck we're playing the two meow meow after phantom rage this card just like shot up prank is from like everything else to like one of the top tier decks uh, this allows you to make sure that you can also have your battle ball instead of tributing it itself you could tribute this instead to nuke the entire board and also since battle ball is not a hard ones per turn you're allowed to do this multiple times throughout the turn and also for the link one the link four you're allowed to tribute it and make sure you get double pops as well for the back row we are playing two bird and two dog uh bird and dog uh, I'm, I'm thinking of cutting down one 
of uh, bark, but you always end up needing the second one. I always try to like play test just needing one, and then overall I always try to get the second one. Also, just the attack gain helps out a lot since Bird is 2,000. It allows you to get over a, a lot of things. But Bird allows you to add back uh, from your graveyard to your hand and make sure you get to search any any spell that says Print Kids in its name uh, for the generic link to Airplane Nightmare Phoenix and Virtue Anaconda. People can play this Anaconda, but only I'm only playing it for the Thunder Dragon Fusion. This is someone out Battle Butler, and Phoenix is just a good utility to pop back row. The one link three I got in here is Unicorn again utility, allows you to rent, to link up, and draw a few cards. Uh, the link four is Roaster and Access Code. Uh, if you are broke, then play. Uh, you can play Boros Sword instead. Uh, allows you to just get over your games. Uh, uh, roaster just lets you nuke the back row. Um, people are trying to decide in this. I think you should just have it in your main deck. If not, you're going to start losing games against Invoke. Like, Shadal, Dogmatica. So I think that's just that's just the way to go. Keep it in the in the, in the main extra. Sounds weird to say. Uh, we're playing though on Battle Butler. And the two Rocket Ride. Uh, I'm trying to play the second Battle Butler. For now, I just ha I haven't had it yet, but Battle Butler allows you to nuke the entire main monster zone and extra monster zone boards. So, this just allows you to have it twice during your opponent's turn after having the Link 1 in your graveyard. And Rocket Ride allows you to just play through extenders, allows you to special someone back from the graveyard. So, that's really good. And you end up playing the one totally awesome for recursion. Also, a neat interaction with this is that if you play uh, totally awesome and your opponent does Maximus, you can send this to the graveyard and add back uh, Toad as well or another printed monster that you really want in your hand. For example, Dropsies, the water one. But overall, I like this a lot, making sure that you have uh, extenders. Also, Toad is a free negate. So if you can summon this out before on the fifth summon or the fourth, just makes your life a whole lot easier. So you don't have to worry about Nibiru or any other hand traps and make sure so because hand traps are what kills this deck. But guys, it's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys have any questions or comments on how I can build this deck even better, please let me know in the comments down below. I shall see you guys later. Take care.